Hey, welcome back to Snapbolt Games. My name is Max, and we're here with another Popper League, and I am going to be playing this Unexpected Windfall combo deck again. We'll get into the deck tech and the changes since the original build. Uh, first, let me shout out my Twitch channel and the YouTube channel real fast. Twitch.tv slash Snapbolt Games and the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Snapbolt. We're recording live right now on Twitch. Come hang out live. I post on my Twitter when I go live. But follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash snapbolt. I post all my leagues on YouTube. Um, so go check out the channel if you like the content. Best way to support me is to subscribe to the YouTube. So thank you so much. And uh, hope to see, every, see everyone live as well. Now, let's get into this. So what is this deck? I basically brewed this up. I wanted to play with Unexpected Windfall and Popper. It's been showing up a lot in other formats like Standard, even Historic. I've seen people try it in even Modern. Um, so... This card is used in standard in conjunction with Allrin's Epiphany or other big spells. Uh, because, again, it's a 4-mana play that makes mana. So you can just make a bunch of mana with Windfall, untap, and then next turn do really good stuff. Here, another good combo with Windfall is copying it. And here we're copying it with Teach by Example. Uh, so if you go Teach by Example into Windfall, you only need to discard one card. And then the copy, you don't have to discard a card. So Teach into Windfall is discard one, draw four, make four treasures. So that's a pretty nice combo. Um, okay, let's get like into the basics of the deck now. So that's kind of where I started with the idea of the deck. And then our finisher is Curve plus Fling. We went from one Fling, one Dispel to just two Fling, just to have access to more Flings. I think that's going to be better, especially in this style of deck. We're also just a Galvanic Relay like Storm deck. And the way we have the deck built now, we completely ignore what the opponent's doing. We just are 100% in on cantrips, finding what we need, rituals, drawn cards, curve fling. So that's our entire game plan. We have 19 lands now. We cut lightning bolt, which was a major change. And now we just have 15 cantrips, which is a lot of cantrips. Uh, or no, not 15 cantrips, excuse me. We have 11 cantrips. That's 15 in this in this pile. I was looking at the 15 here. But we do have four Rite of Flame, four Morphos, four Seething Song um, as like the best rituals of choice. You can also teach by example, copy the rituals. Um, so again, we're just a straight up combo deck. The, the combo is relatively slow. Um, like you often are going to be setting up on turns like one through three with cantrips and then go off. Um, but you can go off pretty hard. We like made two nine nines on turn two. We made a 10-10 on turn 2, turn 3 win uh, last league, and uh, we just have even more setup now, so it should be even a little bit more consistent with a little less interaction. Um, another major change from the last list, I guess also if you haven't seen the first list, you can go to the YouTube channel and check it out because it's posted there now. Um, but the first list, I was playing Thriving Isle, and I had one forest in the sideboard with Weather the Storm and um, Ancient Grudge in the sideboard. But now we're just playing even more of the fetch lands. We're not playing any forest, any green cards. Because um, all these fetches are really good with ponders and brainstorms. Um, and then instead of trying to like weather the storm in the sideboard, we're just going for more consistent mana base. And just relying on like Hydro Blast, Pyro Blast, going up to three Cannonade and two Gorilla Shaman. I still think this card's going to be good against Affinity, a Shenanigans. Again, I was just talking about the sideboard. I just threw it together right before this started. Really narrow sideboard, but pretty powerful. And I like having four Hydro Blasts against Affinity and Burn. And just having extra hate with Shaman, Shaman, Shenanigans against um, Affinity seems really nice. Um, so without further ado, kind of a little bit of a disjointed deck tech there. But you get the idea of what the deck's doing. Let's just go into round one. All right. Round one, we're against... Yamandaro, I think is how you probably pronounce it. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Zero cantrips, one island, a bunch of expensive spells. Let's mulligan. This is much, much better. Yeah, this hand looks good. They mulligan to five. Interesting. We'll see what the opponent's on. I can put back, honestly, a land. Because I can preordain and choose to keep lands or not. So if I just keep island mountain, I can find another land naturally. Um, and I don't want to have too many lands. So let's put back island and opponent. See if they see if the opponent keeps five here. Again, we cannot interact at all. So we just are literally playing like our own game plan, just trying to do our own thing. It looks like it's probably Stompy. It could be like a black green sacrifice deck. 
Hopefully no turn two Groff. Hmm. I think I want to just... I guess I'm just going to preordain. I'm, I can save the wilds. Bottom both of these. Definitely bottom the Terramorphic. I wonder if I want Curve, though. I think it's just too early for Curve. The Curve isn't going to be that big yet. We just want to Storm off. Yeah, Brainstorm is great. So now I can Brainstorm Shuffle on two and maybe go off later. And yeah, this is the Serpentine Curve deck. And I just realized I didn't update the Aether Hub. So I'll do that um, after this match. Cliffs. Okay, let's go Brainstorm. This is a new version of the uh, Curve deck. Ooh, Teach by Example is great. So, what do we not want? Probably don't want Cliffs, because I, I want to shuffle here. Or do I? Also, I could just keep everything. I think I don't want that many tap lands, though. Like, what if I shuffle away Cliffs Preordain? Go Evolving Wild Shuffle. I draw a random card. Then on my turn, I go Third Land, Seething Song, Manamorphose. I need another. I need one more mana to teach into Windfall. But they only have two cards in hand. I'm not under that much pressure yet. They didn't Groff, so they don't have that. So they only have three power right now. I can wait till turn four to go off. So maybe I need to put back... <clears throat> I can put back, like, Mountain Evolving Wilds, and then just play Cliffs, even. I could also preordain this turn, but I think I want to play a tap land. Yeah, I could wait till turn four to go off. I like this. I'm going to put back Mountain Wilds, play Cliffs, Next turn, untap, draw the wilds, crack right now, then play Preordain, turn four, try to go off. Oops, just got to put back in the other order. Nice. Again, because we're not really in danger of dying right now, so that was actually a pretty tough decision on what to do there. I think we made a reasonable choice, but um, I think waiting is, is totally fine here. Again, combo is probably my weak, weakest archetype that I play. Lead the Stampede. Okay, I was not expecting Lead the Stampede in this deck. It's probably just their card advantage engine of choice, but it's pretty slow. All right, so now I can fetch right now. Get Mountain. Preordain right now. Bottom, bottom. Ponder right now. Yeah, looking for more Rituals. Another Teach is probably fine. So, I wonder if I even want these. Because next turn I can go, again, Seething Song, Morphos, Teach Windfall. I get to draw four. I mean, these are probably good enough. Okay, we get to go off next time. I can't speak for how any matchups are yet because this is literally the first game with this build and second league with the deck. So can't speak for any matchups. So we'll see. What's up, Popper Tim? You show up on every stream. Love to see it. Thanks so much. Really love the support. All right, now we're um, now we're cooking the as they say. Seething song. Morphos. Blue, red. I wonder if we want Goblin Electromancer in this deck as well. Morphos again. Just blue, red again. There's another Windfall. So now I go Teach into Windfall, discarding Ash Barons. Teach, Windfall, discard Ash Barons, copy it. There's Relay. So at least we can Relay for six here. They are threatening a bunch of damage next turn. Like five, six, seven. It's unlikely we're going to die, so we'll just try to kill next turn. 
then relay, draw six. Rite of Flame, that's a good one. I want to see more Rituals. Reordain, Relay, Windfall. Okay. We can Preordain first. We can maybe Teach by Example, copy some Rituals. Yeah, that's the combo. You don't need to discard on the second copy uh, for when you copy Windfall. Okay. Can they kill? One, two, three, four, five... Hopefully not. I think they might be able to. Pretty unfortunate if we die here. Just a little bit too slow. It works with fling too. Yeah, you can copy fling. I haven't done the math. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We go to 1. Okay, we're not dead. As far as I understand, I think we'd be at one if they sack everything. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Whew! We're fine. I mean, we're not fine, but we have a chance. <clears throat> I think this deck might need Electromancer. The problem I thought is it doesn't reduce the cost of this, but reducing the cost of everything else just might be worth it. All right, there's a curve. That's a potential win con. So I think I just start with Preordain looking for more Rituals. We've drawn half our deck and this is the first seeding or right of flame we found. So that's our main problem right now. Ponder Galvanic Relay. Don't know if I have the luxury to draw this Ponder. Definitely bought him the Relay. I think I need to draw this. I need to just find Rituals. Alright. Teach. Don't know if we're going to be able to do anything here. Yeah, we probably should have Swirling Sandstorm. I actually thought about that, and then later I forgot about it. We just have a bunch of Cannonades right now, which should be good as well. Let's go right up Flame. Two, three, four, five mana. So we can only go right of flame windfall. Draw two. And then we only have three mana left. Really need a ritual here. Like another right of flame might get us out of it. Then we can teach into right of flame, make six mana, then teach windfall again. So right of flame might just do it here. Seething song. Okay, that allows us to keep going at least. If you teach a teach, you just get to copy your next spell twice. Seething Song. Windfall. Still have three mana. So we're still looking for Rite of Flame here. We didn't find it. So I think we fizzle now. I think we just are dead. We can't even cast a curve. Not that it would really do anything. Okay, we died. That was unfortunate. I don't think I really have time to get into all the spoilers now, but maybe we'll do a video about them once we get a couple more. So I think we just want all the cannonades. Can probably go... Maybe curve is fine. Playing a big curve should be pretty good. They also might have some removal. Can side out like a couple cantrips. looks good if we just do this keep all of our combo pieces i think this matchup should actually be pretty good for us because i don't think they can interact that much all we needed was to i mean this is a probably like one of the best cards in the deck i think it's just like you can f draw through so much of your deck and if you hit multiple right of flames that's when you really start making a ton of mana so i i, I don't know i like it maybe you want to set out one curve play like another cantrip also can find cannonades Ponder seems better than Brainstorm to me. Alright. Let's go. I don't really want to just play early curves and have them just get killed by black removal spells. Okay. Opponent was also on a fairly slow hand, but 
I don't know. I think that black green sack deck is not very good. So if we can't beat it, it's not a good sign for our deck. All right, we can preordain right now. Don't know if I need this island. I think I'm at a bottom top. I can naturally draw more lands, but drawing the cannonade is obviously great. Nice. Don't hate seeing that. Cliffs. So now I'm just going to go Cliffs, Cycle Ash Barons. Hopefully they just play like one more creature, something that I can just cannonade stuff away, or like two more small things. They, hopefully they can't like sack something twice here. That would be best case for me. Oh, not, do they have another one? So now if they sack, I mean, I'm still going to have to cannonade. I can, I guess I can kill two things still. Because they sack one, it gives, makes two, two, twos, then they have to sack the other one to save the, the feeder. So we're actually fine. I'll still do it, I'll do it on our turn though, um, to play around like any type of like, um, Sacrifice draw two effect, like Deadly Dispute or something like that. This should just buy us some time. Yeah, they make a 3-3, three, three, but at least we kill two of their creatures here. I guess they can go Sack Beetle, Sack Feeder to itself, then Beetle the 3-3. Three, three. But they only get to keep one creature and it's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, so they have a 3-3 three, three beetle. That's not that scary. And they don't have green mana yet. The mana in that deck should be relatively inconsistent. I'm just going to wait here. I know I could go off, but I'm not really in that much danger. Yeah, beetle was a rare from Rise of Eldrazi and then it got downshifted to common. It's... Funny because it's also not even that great. It's like it's good, it's fine. It's good in this these sack decks, but it's not like so insane. Looking for more cantrips. So like what? They're gonna play like a random green creature. I think I wanna just keep waiting. Wait at least one more turn here. Because I wanna make sure to be able to find relay when I, once I fire off these manamorphos. I don't think you want like Thermo Alchemist because then you just open yourself up to removal. So I really don't think you want that. Maybe as a random cyborg card. Okay, they're gonna village rights, yep. That's what I was playing around also with the main phase cannonade. So we get hit for four, they draw two. And now we try to go off next turn. Bone picker. Okay, they're kind of doing it. Brainstorm. All right, let's start with Morphos Morphos here. I guess I can start with um, even Seething Song because I know I'm going to have to go off this turn. But uh, I don't think it really matters. I can just start with the Morphos. Get more information. Blue, red. I'm playing Morphos before Brainstorm because then I see more cards overall. There's Relay. Okay, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're not dead on board unless they have a creature and a sack outlet. Let's go brainstorm. See if we can function here. And I don't have the updated version posted yet, but I'll try to get that going. Oh, I made a pretty big mistake because I can seeding song add red mana but then I don't have necessarily enough blue. So I think I can put back Fling Island and then Preordain. I could even Ponder Shuffle. I think that's probably better. No, let's, let's Preordain Bottom Bottom then. So I have to go seething song like this and then i only have one blue mana kind of sucks guess i'm just casting could cast ponder as well
Just cast Ponder. Preordain may have been the play there. There's another Seeping Song. I think I just shuffle these. All right, now we just hope we don't die, which we very well might. I wonder if I keep this Seeping Song for more mana for next turn. Or if I just want another Storm. Probably keep it for more mana for next turn. Oh, I thought I already played a land. Did I not? I guess we'll see. An oh, I did not play a land yet. Wow. Okay, so I can still ponder again. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat. I still would only be able to play one more blue spell, but I definitely should have played it first because I could have drawn Right of Flame. So just punting already. Again, I'm not a good combo player, but I'm doing my best here. Let's go land. Ponder looks at more cards, so could find Mana Morphos too. Nice. And Teach by Example. Okay. So now I go top, top, top. No Seething Song. We're just going all in here. Mana Morphos, blue, blue. Preordain. Blue, blue. I could even go, I could do a kind of a crazy play and go teach into preordain. I have seven mana. We know the top card's a land that I'm going to bottom on the preordain. If I go teach into preordain, that's three mana. I have four mana left. But if I just preordain and then find um, windfall, I get to teach into windfall. And then I would have to discard relay even. I think I go teach into preordain here. I also get to use red red here. Teach, preordain, copy it. That was a that was a close line. I would definitely keep curve. I know they could have removal, but that's a good fail safe, right? Or if we get more mana, then we can like maybe do more stuff. Maybe I was supposed to bottom bottom. There's Fling. So I could top, top, and go play Ponder, and then play Relay, and try to win next turn. I can also just... Let's see, I have four, five, six. I think what I want to do is go top, top, play Ponder, play Relay, hope we don't die. If I find another Ritual off this Ponder, it's actually pretty good. I could bottom the Fling, but I might need the Fling to win next turn, even with a Relay for like 10. Probably not. Just bottom, top. This is an interesting line. I'm going to play Ponder. I could also just play Curve. I'm just worried about them going Removal Spell. They need to play another Sack Outlet. Creature plus sack outlet to kill us, basically. There's a Rite of Flame. Do we have another? Did we play a Rite of Flame yet? No, we didn't. <sighs> hey, thanks for following. This is this is a tough game. We just haven't drawn that many Rite of Flames, basically. So I can go Rite of Flame Relay. And then relay for 13. And then I'm going to be exiling Island, Windfall, and a bunch of other cards. Hope we don't die. And then win next turn, most likely. And I guess it's the line. Just see if we die. Wonder if we should have tried to go off one turn earlier. I know they're one short off lethal, but they need basically sack out creature plus sacrifice outlet in order to pump beetle. Otherwise, I don't think they can mostly pump, and they might just have removal spells and lands in hand. So, seething song, right of flame, teach, teach, teach. All right, see if we die.
There's Young Wolf and Village Rights. All right, they had it. I mean, maybe they didn't have any removal, but also playing curve isn't even necessary. Doesn't even necessarily stop them either. That felt pretty bad from our side. Like opponents' draws were not good, and we still just couldn't do anything. That was pretty rough. Um, it just felt like we had to just wait and wait and wait, and then we still couldn't go off. The deck definitely didn't feel good there, so hopefully uh, it turns around here. Maybe we do need to rebuild the deck. Like Again, all these cantrips are not good with Electromancer either, so maybe our draw just wasn't quite as good. I've been able to storm off much harder in the past, and that's with less cantrips, so just didn't work out there. Let's see if we can turn it around. All right, round two, we're against GL Nemesis. I don't want to keep this hand because I think we can just wait and then go for a double relay and then and then try to go off after that. Divest so they can they miss. <laughs> nice. Looks like we're against mono black. Turn one divest missed. That's kind of hard to do. Zero creatures, I guess. I guess it's not that hard. Just gonna fetch right now. Get that F6 value. Yeah, I I've played against GL Nemesis a bunch. Do they play a lot of mono black? I think they might. Another teach. Alright, just go island. We'll cycle Ash Barons. We can just keep waiting here. Mono black should be a pretty nice matchup. If they have a lot of duresses, it gets a little tougher, but we're a Gavanic Relay deck, so. Mono Black has a ton of creature removal, but they can't interact on the stack that well. All right, let's get another mountain. Looking good here. Again, this deck is not trying to be fast. Oh, I forgot to update the deck list. I I'm sorry. It's just this all-in curve deck again. Um, Mana Morphos. So on turn four, I can go Seething Song, Relay, Relay. So Mana Morphos gives me another storm. I can even teach Mana Morphos. Yeah, this has got to be good enough. It's just top, 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 no, playland, pass. And then next turn, I, again, I can kind of just like double, I can just plan to double relay next turn, get as many spells as I can for the following turn. Chitter. Okay, that's Chitter is fine. I'm still just going to go for a huge relay here. They're not putting us under any pressure, but they could play a Grey Merchant as early as next turn. So that's actually putting us under some pressure, but we're going to like relay for like a total of like 12 or something, or maybe even more. So I go land, teach, Mana Morphos. Seething Song, and then go from there. Anamorphos, blue red, blue red. Blue red. And then we're drawing land here, I think. Blue red. And then seething song. Relay, relay. Relay for four. Relay for five. We haven't hit anything that great yet. Oh, there's one right of flame, finally, and some cantrips. Okay. We also have a teach by example. Now we have more mana. So now we can teach Seething Song, potentially, do stuff like that. There's another relay as well. They miss on Di Divest is just dead. They're just trying to hate on Affinity here. That is pretty cool, tech against affinity. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could teach Curve next turn, but they probably have multiple removal spells. I just want to go for another relay as big as I can. They're not putting us under that much pressure except for Monarch, but we're just going to try to set up a, a Curve Fling in the same turn. This... Oh, nice. There we go. There we go. Let's go Island. Rite of Flame. I guess I can save this Teach, because now I don't know if I need even more mana, because I could go Teach into Rite of Flame for more red mana right now, but I don't think I need to. Let's just go right. Seething Song. And then start playing Cantrips. I guess I can Brainstorm first, because I can Brainstorm, put two back, and then preordain those away. It's a pretty good use of Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Put back land, land. Preordain those away. Still six red mana. Bottom, bottom. We have six, seven, eight mana. Could brainstorm again here. I might as well ponder, I think. I could also teach into ponder. Again, I kind of want to save teach. I just don't know if I need to. Six, seven, eight mana. I can also just play this brainstorm because it's from exile, so it's kind of free. Let's just do that. Let's just play the brainstorm. See what we hit. Just a bunch of lands. Interesting. So I wonder if I want to go teach relay. I know I don't get to copy the storm, but still might be worth just to have more gas for next turn. They only, they have three cards in hand. I think I like it. It gives me one more storm. I just want to keep casting like as much as I can. It gives me one more storm and copies the relay itself. So it gives me like two more cards next turn. Not just one more card. Land, land, fling, manamorphose, teach, right of flame, teach. Okay. So we should be able to win next turn. They need like double duress. Or to be able to gain a ton of life, but we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we have 27, so we have 22 damage right now, and that's assuming we don't play any more spells. So we should have more than that, and we can also teach fling, so yeah, we, we should be good here. Even if they uh, shinobi us, we're, we're fine. Their deck's just not that fast. It'll get worse post-board probably because they have a lot of duresses, but even that, I think we should be okay. All right. So just to be safe, do I go teach right of flame? I don't know. If, I don't even know if I need to do that. That gives me just like the most mana to work with. Teach right of flame, and then I can just go. Cast curve, cast keep, teach. Wait, is this fling? Oh, this fling is is exiled. We just can't cast it because we don't control a creature yet. Okay, so we should be fine. So let's go play island. I could also just teach teach. Doesn't matter. I just don't want to. I just don't want to mess this up. Let's go teach into right of flame. Copy it, make a bunch of mana. You can go mana morphos just because it's free. Eight mana. Mana morphos, blue, blue. And then go hold control. Play curve. And then play teach. So this is the combo. This is how you do it. You play Curve, and then with Curve still on the stack, you play Teach. 
So Teach resolves. So now our next spell is going to be copied. And then I go Curve resolves. They don't have priority. And then I just go Fling you, sacking the 21, copy it, same targets. And then they don't have a chance to... If you just play Curve and then they play a removal spell in response to Teach, then you don't get to double fling. So this is just the safer way to do it, just in case they have anything. Yeah, we could have we could have gone teach windfall. I just didn't want to mess up because last week I literally messed up an auto win. So just didn't want to do that. <laughs> um, I think we just don't sideboard. Like our deck literally just doesn't interact. Um, but I think that's fine. Seems like a good place to be in this matchup. Just all the cantrips to play around their disruption. Let's just run it back. Like, this should be a good matchup. Again, they can set out all their removal, but, like, or at least most of it, but I think I think it's fine. Got, like, a bug flying around here. Oh, what's up, Juju? Good to see you. And good to see you too, Taylor John Wright. Love seeing everyone in the stream. Um, this hand's pretty bad, but I think I can just keep... Like, if they just duress us, take Ponder, then that's fine. We can just slowly draw cards. And uh, Double Seething Song Teach, we can do stuff. Yeah, this deck is going... We're going deep with this deck. It's pretty fun. 0-1 in the league right now. Just going to fetch now, just to uh, F6. Not worried about um, like a turn two land destruction spell. Gonna ponder next turn anyway. We're trying to kick ass with relay. We we got kind of crushed in game one against a pretty bad deck. I, I I think no no offense to the opponent. I just think black green sack is just not a good archetype in popper. Um, so we lost to that. We just weren't able to fully combo off. We it's all about right of flame. Distress. Okay, so they can take like curve out of this hand maybe maybe they take ponder i don't really care i would rather them take curve than ponder because i don't even want to curve for a while anyway they take ponder there's right of flame okay so if i draw an untapped land we might be able to, like, Rite of Flame, Seething Song, Seething Song, Teach, Teach, Curve or something. I don't think we have quite enough mana. That would make, like, seven mana. All right, they just go Sign and Blood themselves, pass. We need to just draw lands and or cantrips here. Relay. I mean, I guess we're just doing stuff. I just want to play a big relay here, I think. Just get cards flowing, right? Right of Flame. Seething Song. Seething Song. Go up to 7 mana. And then go Teach, Teach, Relay. I can also go Teach into Seething Song here. That makes more mana. Does it even matter? I'd rather copy Relay. I get one more card that way. Jacob Hops. That's a good name. So let's go Seething Song, Seething Song. Again, that brings us to seven mana, and then four, and then Relay. Yep, let's do it. Seething Song, Seething Song, Teach, and then Teach again. Copy Teach, and then Relay, and then Teach copies it twice, and then six more. There's another Rite of Flame, another Teach, a Ponder, and some lands. Looking good. No extra Galvanic Relay there, but we can Manamorphose and Ponder, and maybe we can Teach by example, copy like one of the cantrips. And they can't really interact with us here, because what, they can duress, take this curve? We just don't care. So now our cards are safe in exile. It's nice. That was our turn three. Maybe this deck does want Lotus Petal, but I'm not sure. All right, 
So I think we're going to play Island. I think that's pretty straightforward. Just deciding exactly how to take this turn. I can take my time here. So I can go play Island. I could even go Seething Song. And then I could go Teach Morphos. Draw two, make whatever color manas I want. It's close. This is a tough turn. So Rite of Flame plus Teach makes six mana right now. Costs three mana to do so. Might be better just to go like Rite of Flame make three mana, Seething Song go up to five mana. And then I can play Ponder and then I can like, I could like Teach Ponder. I think I like that. Let's just do that. I like Teach Ponder, I think. That gives us the most looks. I could also teach Curve. That's actually an option. Because I can teach Curve and then I have another Curve. That makes them have to have a lot of removal spells. I guess I like that better. So let's just make mana here. Maybe we'll find something else as well. Seething Song, go 5 mana. Manamorphos, blue, blue. And then blue, blue. So we have five. Oh, there's a fling. It's good to know. We don't have lethal yet. So we have five, six, seven mana. So I can still go ponder, teach, curve. So we're still fine here. There's another Rite of Flame, a Preordain, and a Galvanic Relay. Seems fantastic to me. So what if I go draw the Preordain, go teach Preordain, draw Rite of Flame Relay. That seems like the best, that seems like the best line. I think I'm going to do it. I don't make more snakes, but I get a huge relay this way. Shuffle your library. No. Go teach. Preordain. Top, top. Preordain. We have another land we can still play. So I'm going to top, top on the first Preordain. Draw the right of flame. Top, top. And then... We're definitely topping the relay, but I'm not sure about the next card. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll top that. Top, top. Rite of Flame, make four mana. Mana Morphos, draw the relay, blue, blue. And then I guess actually I have, I might have lethal. They're at 18. So I have two lands in the graveyard. I have 16 spells. So if I go curve, it's just a 17. So I'm one short of lethal here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, curve's only a 16. So I guess I'd rather just go Terramorphic, crack it now, and then Relay. Relay for nine. Oh no, Curve is an Exile too. So what if I play the Curve from hand? I think I'm still one short. 17 cards in Graveyard, so it's 15, 17. Damn. I'm literally one spell short of Lethal here. All right, well, let's just go Terramorphic, crack, get Island, Relay. I think this is better, just because we were one short. We have another fling we can hit. Seething Song, Relay, Fling, Windfall, Curve, Curve. That should be enough. Okay. Not sure if we're going to have enough mana. I mean, we have one more Seething Song. We didn't really 
hit that many more rituals or cantrips though. So it might be kind of rough. We have four, five, six mana. Yeah, we should be fine. We can just go curve into fling. They probably can't interact with that. Because it counts all these cards in exile too, so our curve is going to be pretty big. So even if they Gary here, I think we still kill. And even, yeah, if they distress, oh, cram session, gain four. Okay, I still think we kill. I'm just going to do it. Not going to count. I guess it's 17 plus a bunch. Yeah, they're at 20. Yeah, that's enough. Sweet. There's a teach. All right, let's go land. Seething song. Curve. Fling. Should be that should be a good matchup for us. Nice. Let's go round three. All right, we're one and one now after beating Mono Black. We're against Captain Tsubasa. See if we can combo here. Would you like to play first? Yes. Uh, I'm going to keep this. It's, isn't that great, but we have blue source, red source. Yeah, only one land, but we have double cantrip. We're on the play, so we get to go cliffs on one, like ponder on two, get four looks out of land. Maybe this is wrong, but if we find lands, I think this hand is pretty good. So I think that's why I should keep forest. Elves. Okay, it's a combo race. Ooh, that is tempting. I don't want to like do the big combo turn yet, so let's just go ponder. It gives us more looks than uh, preordain here. These are great cards. Let's go no land preordain. So next turn I have two, and then I add. Um, three mana on the second one, so I go up to four mana. So I have five mana next turn. I can mana morphose. I can like teach mana morphose, windfall, then reway. I can do a lot next turn. I'm just not sure that's enough. I think I want to just keep both of these. Do I have to teach into morphose? I'd rather teach windfall. I just I'm, I'm going to be one mana short. If I bottom the Morphos, I have a chance to draw an untap land, but I think going Teach into Morphos, drawing two and staying mana neutral there, getting Storm for Relay has got to be the line. So it's just top, top. And then just play a big Relay next turn. Again, that was only turn two, so they still probably need to set up. Oh, it's, it's Defenders. Okay, I actually like this because Defenders is slower than Elves. It's Cascade Defenders. Okay, let's still go for the combo here. Right of Flame, Right of Flame, four mana, and let's go Teach into Morphos, because we're one short of going Teach Windfall. Teach, Morphos. I think I just go Blue Red, Blue Red. Blue Red, there's a Ponder, okay, Blue Red. There's another Right of Flame. I like that. We're going to cast it, so might as well cast it. guess I can ponder first. Seething Song, Seething Song. Seems good enough to me. I can go draw a Seething Song, play Rite of Flame, Seething Song, Dis play Windfall, discarding Curve, draw Seething Song, Curve, play Seething Song, play Curve, play Relay. It's got to be good enough, right? Right of Flame, Seething Song, Unexpected Windfall, discarding Curve, draw two. Play Seething Song, six, play Curve, 
Oi Riwe. Not a bad turn three. Riwe, Riwe, Morphos, Seeding Song, another Windfall, and a Preordain. We have a couple extra mana. And we have a 13 13, which isn't bad. So they do have a chump blocker. We draw a land. Doesn't really do anything except enable a windfall. Four mana sources. We can go up to five. We have one fling. Okay, so let's start with preordain. I could start with mana morphos. Just start with preordain. With another windfall. I'm going to be able to Seething Song, Windfall. I think I want this. It really only costs two mana and is a potential draw too. I think I'll keep it. Let's top. Let's play Island. Let's go Mana Morphos, Blue Red, Seething Song. Maybe I should have gone Seething Song first. I can't quite teach into song here. Let's go seething song. I can go teach into windfall though. So I guess I just do that. Teach. Windfall, make four mana. And they can see, nice. Huh. That was turn three, right? Or was that turn four? We were on the play. They have three lands. So it was turn four. We just missed a land drop. Not bad. Okay. I don't know if I want to sideboard again. I just want to combo as fast as I can. Cannonade only kills Corian Ranger. What about Hydroblast? Because this counters Hydroblast counters Boarding Party, which I don't really want to play that game. I just want to combo fast. Hydroblast counters their combo sometimes. I think I'm just going to try to do my own combo and just not care what they're doing. All right, let's keep this. Same looks fine. Probably leading Preordain and then maybe Brainstorm Shuffle, maybe Ponder Shuffle. Depends what happens. Opponents on the mulligan to six. We can F6 their turn. Having two curves isn't necessarily ideal, but we can brainstorm them away, which is one reason why I really like brainstorms here. I do want more lands, and I think taking a windfall for later is going to be good. We need rituals, but again, we can brainstorm shuffle next turn. I think I'm going to want windfall. I mean, I guess they could have hydroblast, but what are you going to do, right? I have to do something. Okay, they're going to play an Overgrown Battlement here, or a Winding Way? Reaping the Graves gone, Land gone. Oh, they only hit one card there. That's kind of brutal for them. Alright, I think I like Brainstorm right now, put back some curves, Shuffle, and then next turn I can like Ponder. Maybe go off next turn, depending on how good this Brainstorm is. There's Rite of Flame. So I can put back one curve plus a Tap Land. Yeah, I like that. And then just go tap land, probably get island. You want mostly islands in play because all your rituals can add red mana. So I think you mostly want islands. Are they going to play another winding way? That would be my guess is what they're going to do. Only hitting one off a winding way is brutal, but I've played these type of decks a lot and it happens a lot. Okay, Axe Bane Guardian. They... They didn't want to use Korean Ranger. Interesting. All right, let's just lead on Ponder. 
There's another Rite of Flame. I could draw the Rite of Flame and then ponder again and then shuffle away extra lands. That's probably what I'm going to do. Ponder. There's another Windfall, though. So I can go Mountain, Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame. That gets me to four mana. I think at this point I can just shuffle this. There's Relay. Okay. So I am one mana short. Because if I go Rite of Flame, Rite of Flame, Windfall, then I'm just only at two mana remaining. I can also still Mana Morphose, so I can go like Rite of Flame, Mana Morphose, Rite of Flame, Windfall. I get to draw two more cards. I need to hit exactly another Rite of Flame in order to relay this turn. I think I just have to give them one more turn, hope they don't combo kill us. I feel like with their hand, it's unlikely we're going to die. I think I need to just wait one turn. It's close, it's close. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I just go for Rite of Flame, Manamorphose, see what I draw off that, and then I can always just go for Rite of Flame, Windfall, I make treasures at least, and then my hand is just Relay, Curve, and the cards I drew off Windfall. It's probably worth it to just do a bunch of stuff here. Let's go Manamorphose, Blue Red, Land. It's not ideal. Right of Flame, Windfall, Discard, Wilds. Okay. Not perfect there. We still got to just like cycle a bunch, make some treasures. Could be worse. Hopefully, opponent doesn't do anything like too broken as far as killing us, but. Oh, they hit one card. They're really missing on these draw effects. Wow. Getting pretty lucky here. Do they have another lead to Stampede? No. They do. Winding Way. Okay, they hit three cards, but none of them are that threatening. So they we know they have these three cards plus a blank. So they're missing pretty hard here. They could have one more draw spell. Oh no, they have a land in hand. So they have these three plus land. Okay, so they're not they're not comboing here. So that's a good sign. Oh, they just found... Wait, they had a, another lead to Stampede? I thought they had Forest. I guess they didn't use Ranger yet. I could have sworn they used Ranger, Bounce Forest. So now I think we get comboed, because now they have Drift of Phantasms. I'm not sure if they have enough. But also the problem is we cannot combo kill next turn. Obviously I still like going for it like we did. They had some pretty bad hits on Winding Way and Lead the Stampede, but they had a lot of them. What do they got? They're adding green mana. Are they just going to try to go off next turn? I guess they... Have they used both Koreans? It's kind of hard to keep track of on Magic Online sometimes. I thought they had already used one, so I thought their hand was... Oh, maybe I didn't... I thought that their hand was literally like Tinderwall, Jeff Bear, Sentinel, Quarian Ranger, Forest. But I guess I was wrong. I think they've used both Quarians, right? Returns a Forest with Quarian. Returns a Forest with Quarian. So they have two Forests in hand. One, two, three, four, five. Set their hand. There's the Caretaker, Battlement, Tinderwall. Maybe the Sentinel was here and I hadn't removed it. They only hit two off that lead to Stampede. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Right of Flame adds a bunch of mana, but don't know if that's going to be enough. Probably not. We might be able to like 
Ryue, exile a bunch of spells, curve fling. They have Drift of Phantasms, Invoker in hand, so we're gonna die if we don't especially kill Axbane Guardian. Even if we kill Axbane, we still might die because they have multiple colored sources. But they might not be able to make that. I guess they can make a lot of mana. All right. Right of Flame, four mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I think we I think we just die. I can go curve, fling your Axeman Guardian, and then relay. I guess that's what I have to do. I was just, I'm probably still going to die, but if I didn't do this, then I was 100% going to die. Right of Flame, Morphos, Fling, Relay. If we get lucky, we could win next turn still. And maybe they can't win now. They do have Overgrown Battlement and three blue sources with Corians to make even more blue mana. So they can transmute. What can they get? They can't really get freed from the reel. They could get lead the stampede though. That's our second fling actually, so we need that to win. So we have to win next turn. So they transmute. I'm assuming they get lead the stampede. They get pulse. So they're gonna pulse back Axbane Guardian or can they pulse back Drift here? They pulse back Axbane Guardian, play it. Okay. So they're going to try to win on the next turn. So they still have Valka Invoker. It's going to be tough here. There's a Preordain. Okay. Right of Flame. That's five mana. Mana Morphos, blue, blue. Preordain. Bottom, bottom. Let's see, four, maybe maybe not. Maybe I can kill. Oh, they're at 26 now. 16, 17, 18, 19. Damn, we have to keep comboing. Four, five, six, seven mana. Got a bottom, bottom. There's a windfall. I can windfall right now, discarding relay. I, again, I think I have to win this turn. Let's do it. Windfall, discard, relay. Land, land. Brutal. Brainstorm. And now we fizzle. Okay. Just see if they can kill, which they probably can. But now we, we don't even have access to a fling now. We exiled both our flings. So we're going game three here. Just see what they do. Maybe they show us something else unexpected. Who knows? We didn't even exile anything that great. Now they have another drift. So now they just get freed from the real go infinite. Yeah, Alchemist. I wonder if I want Pyroblast. It's just so late in the game when Pyroblast is helpful and it doesn't kill their stuff. I don't think I do. Again, I want to just try to combo. Yeah, I think that's a problem with the deck. Our relays are just hitting too many lands. Because you need a, num a good number of lands to play like islands for these uh, cantrips. But maybe that's the problem with uh, Relay in this type of build. Let's just run it back. We got this. I mean, we're not exactly doing that bad. Like, we comboed pretty fast game one. We were in game two. We just couldn't quite combo off. Snap keep. 
So I can Cliffs or I can Wilds to thin. I probably just Cliffs and then Ponder Shuffle on turn two. Maybe Wilds and then turn two Ponder Wilds would have been better. I'm not sure. Let's go Ponder. All right, well, these cards are good, right? I think all these cards have got to be good enough. I mean, I could just draw the Mana Morphos and then shuffle. I think that's probably fine, too. Otherwise, my mana gets pretty awkward if I don't use one of my tap lands right here. I think Mana Morphos was the best out of those cards. We're kind of far away from Windfalling. I want to find more cantrips and more write-up flames and stuff. Depends what we draw next turn. Maybe we go for like a medium-sized relay next turn. Why not Thrill? Thrill is the Thrill of Possibility is the two mana one, right? That's what you're talking about? Did I spell it? Oh no. Did I spell it wrong? I don't think you need to splash vines. There's plenty of things to give your thing hexproof if you wanted oh sprouting vines? What's I don't even know what sprouting vines is. Oh, I have to, I, I'm just, I have to do card, duh. Search your library for a basic land, put it into your hand, then shuffle storm. For three mana? I don't know if we need that. Okay, so they cast Winding Way, and they got a Mold Drifter and a Sentinel, and we hit a Windfall. So I go... Two mana, three, four mana. I can go Morphos, Windfall. I think I wait one more turn here. Thin my deck a little bit. And then next turn, go Rite of Flame, Morphos, Windfall, Relay. Because then I can guarantee Relay next turn. And they're not doing that much here, so let's just pass. Sprouting Vines just to thin the deck. I'm not sure. And the reason why we have Windfall, again, is because one... Just like making the treasures does seem pretty good when you're copying it. Maybe it's just not worth it because I guess Thrill of Possibility costs two mana less. But if you go Teach into Thrill, you discard one, draw two. But making the treasures allows you to like keep comboing a lot of times. Then it only costs you a net of two mana when you do that combo. We haven't really been doing it this league, but I think it is reasonable overall. Okay, they used Corian, so they might not have any more lands, which is kind of a bad line. Or bad sign for us, I should say. Okay. The good news is they don't have an Overgrown Battlement or a Axeman Guardian in play. So that is a good sign for us. Okay. We're going to try to do stuff this next turn. Can't do that much, but... Let's go Rite of Flame, Morphos, Red Red, Preordain. I think I'm just going Windfall here. I could save the Windfall. I could go Preordain and then just Relay. Preordain, maybe hit some more Rituals. If I go Windfall, I'll have only three mana left. I will draw two cards. If I go Preordain, then I can't necessarily Windfall into Relay. I think I just start with Windfall. Mana Morphos. Let's go Mana Morphos. Blue, red, I guess. Because then if I hit a Rite of Flame, it's good. Serpentine Curve. It's relay for five. Rite of Flame, Relay, Ponder, Preordain, Land. Not bad. Are they going Transmute for Axeman Guardian here? That's what it feels like. 
that's not a scary turn if that's what they're doing. I mean, maybe they play Axbane Guardian as well, and then it gets a little more scary. We're not close to killing them yet, either. We're going to need, like, at least two more turns. So, oh, they're sacking Tinderwall to play Axbane. Okay. And they play another Corian Ranger and another Sentinel. And they have four cards in hand. This is kind of why I want Lightning Bolt in the deck, because you can just, like, if I had a Lightning Bolt, I could just kill this and then be totally fine. It's just, like, situations like this that makes you really want Bolt. Okay. Lead Preordain. Nice, another Rite of Flame. I like to see that. Bottom, top. Ponder. I can potentially Ponder Shuffle as well. There's Teach and Fling. So I can go Rite of Flame, three mana, then Rite of Flame again, up to six mana. And then seven, eight, nine mana potentially. So I can go, I can go make nine mana, preordain, draw both these cards, and then go curve, teach, fling. I think that's lethal. Let's think about this. Just let's plan it out a little bit better, but I think it's game. So the first right of flame makes three mana. Then we use one mana, we go down to two mana. Then we right of play, make four mana, go up to six mana. And then we go play untapped land. We have nine mana total. Then I go preordain, draw the teach, eight mana, serpentine curve, with curve on the stack, play teach, and then curve resolves, then fling you for lethal. I think we figured it out. Shuffle your library, no. Right of Flame, Right of Flame, Island, Preordain, Bottom, Top, Hold Priority. I guess they could untap with Ranger, play like a Pyroblast, but I can't, I'm not playing around it. Wait, six, seven mana? Did I seriously just miscalculate our mana? I'm one mana short. I thought I had nine mana. <laughs> I told you I'm not a combo player. First Rite of Flame was three mana. Second Rite of Flame should have been four go down to two mana and then go up to six mana seven eight and then nine mana from a land where did i where did i mess up oh i wasn't counting the red to cast the first right damn you're right i needed 10 mana and i had nine. Oh my god So now I have two options. <sighs> so curve is not lethal. I'm one mana short. I can cast relay pass, sure, but I then I probably lose, right? I can go curve relay, but aren't we we're gonna get comboed out? They have four cards in hand and an axe bane guardian. I, what if I go curve fling the axe bane guardian? Then next turn, worst case, I can go. Then next turn, worst case, I can go teach. Teach curve.
Of course, I don't know if they have it or not. The fact that they said they're saying GG, like, does that mean they think they're going to win or I can't win? I can do something. I can't even go curve past the turn because I don't have two mana untapped to leave up flame. Not that I would anyway. So they have, they only have, they only have two defenders in play right now. If they have a drift of phantasms in hand, do I lose? They go like blue, blue, colorless, cycle drift. I think that's still, I think I need to go curve fling Axbane. And then I don't even get to relay. If I didn't cast the Preordain, I wouldn't be able to draw the Teach. But then I could still go Curve, Fling, Relay. Oh, no, I couldn't, I couldn't do all that anyway. The 13. That sucks. That was brutal. So they can still like drift up phantasms if they have it. I'm curious if they're going to have it now. It's obviously playing relay. If they weren't going to win, playing relay is much better, but. I mean, obviously they're the full combo build post board in this matchup, so. Mole Drifter makes me think they didn't have it. Who knows though? Green mana? Oh, they're just using the Mole Drifter for an extra tap. That was, that was nice, cute. Well, they need to have, they need to have pulse. They don't, they don't necessarily have pulse yet, right? Lead the stampede. I mean, if they had so much mana, yeah, we would have died. Okay. The problem is now teaching to cur Oh, they, that's all they could do. One, two, three, four, five. So six mana. If I want to teach into curve, that's all my mana. I think I need to brainstorm. They can't even win next turn, but just playing two big curves, I don't think is going to be where I want to be. I'd rather play one bigger curve. Brainstorm. There's Morphos Ponder. Okay. So let's just go put back Island Island. Um... Be low on time now as well. Maybe I put back Island Teach. I could also. I want to hit my land drop, but I could go put back land, land, teach into ponder. I'm so bad at combo. Put back land, land, ponder, shuffle. I think that's what I like doing. Maybe I could not shuffle also. I can draw a land seeding song. I think this is just not enough. Drop your library, yes. Let's just keep going off here. Seeding song. Let's go teach Morphos here. I don't need two snakes necessarily. I just really need one bigger snake. Blue, red. Blue, red. Ash Barons, damn. Okay. Gotta find fling. 
Oh, did I not play a land? I didn't even play a land. That could cost me. <laughs> could have played a tap land there. Maybe we'll just top deck fling though. Homog's Crusher and Rubble for it, but they don't have a way to make a bunch of mana. So they're gonna go play Rubble Fort, play Axeman Guardian, or play Overgrown Battlement. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I just need to find Fling, I think. So I have one more Fling and 27 cards, but I can obviously find Cantrips because we have a 2020. Pretty cool if we can win this. I feel like a better combo player could be winning these matches. I feel like I'm just a little bit short. I'm just not that used to playing full combo decks. I'm used to playing like ramp decks, control decks. Those are kind of like what I like to play. I'm much better at playing those style of decks. Or at least like combo control, but full control. I'm I'm not. There's, they said GG. So they have Leaf Caller, so they make any color of mana, and then they go Alchemist. Oh, they go Freed from the Real, and then they go Korean Ranger, make infinite mana of any color. And then they have Drift to go get the uh, Valka Invoker. Yeah, I think that's game. GG's. Damn. I'm kicking myself for that miscount. I'm just, again, I'm not very good at playing these decks and it shows. I feel like I could be winning some of these matches. I misplayed in the last league, misplayed in this league. I also think this deck is not that great, but pretty fun here. And uh, let's go round three. All right, welcome to round three. We're against Against, who is Weber. Really nice opponent, popper content creator. Go check out Weber's YouTube. Um, I, I think it's just Alexander Weber, right? Um, but anyway, you can search it. Just search like popper Weber. Um, you'll find it. He uh, has a bunch of followers. Really cool player. Really nice guy. Would you like to play first? Yes. I think this hand's a mulligan. All right, and this one, this one looks good. Yeah, Weber Pog in the one two, one one. Wait, aren't we? We're uh, we're one two. Why is my thing not updating? Maybe just because this hasn't actually started yet. That's weird. We're one and two. The thing is saying one one. Keep. I think I want to put back a ponder. Keep one brainstorm. I think I want all the lands. I mean, Weber usually plays Affinity, but we'll see if he's on that or testing something else. I don't know if he's streaming right now. I don't want to even check. I don't want to stream snipe at all. I'm just going to lead Clips, actually. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to want, and I think I'm fine to wait to cantrip. Forest. Yeah, he's probably just like testing or just hanging out playing for fun. Forest Abundant Growth. It might be Boggles. I know he's I know he's kind of liked Boggles in the past. I kind of I've always wanted to test this matchup. Um alright, no need to like fully go off yet. Let's just ponder. There's Galvanic Relay. And an Evolving Wilds. So why don't I draw <clears throat> Evolving Wilds? Go brainstorm shuffle and then draw a random card and then relay next turn. Alternatively, could just draw the relay. Don't cast the brainstorm. Next turn, next turn cast right of flame two mana. Then I have four mana total. Then go Morpho's brainstorm relay. I don't get to shuffle away extra lands taking that line though. I think I like the Brainstorm right now line, because I could just easily draw another spell that I can cast next turn with the Relay, or just wait on it. So, let's just do it. I guess I can still only shuffle away one card if I Brainstorm right now. Alright, I'll just wait.
unbridled growth. Feels it's feeling just like more and more like boggles. It's kind of an awkward draw. Okay, so we know land is on top. So I think I'm fine to just go play wilds, pass, crack wilds, next turn, play a big relay, the turn after that go off. I don't think they're I don't think Weber's about to do anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna cycle the shuffle with this evolving wilds here. I guess I'm gonna get mountain. Yeah, it's boggles. Boggles with a no boggle draw. Hexproof doesn't even matter for us because we don't interact anyway. Armadillo cloak. Bling. Okay. Let's go Rite of Flame, Morphos, Brainstorm, Blue Red, Morphos, Blue Red, Brainstorm, Nice, Put Back, Bling Mountain. So now I can go, I have four mana. I can go preordain bottom bottom, seeding song relay. Preordain bottom bottom. I don't need the fling yet. Seeding song relay for seven. Okay, pass the turn. That was a pretty good hit. We hit a lot of spells, two Seething Songs, two Windfalls. Seething Song is also pretty good with Windfall, just because Windfall is kind of expensive. So they can like Armadillo Cloak gain three here, but I, at this point, I don't think we really care about like small ball like that. We just don't want to see like a bunch of uh, the uh, one white plus X plus X for each enchantment, which whatever, Ethereal Armor. Feels like Armadillo Cloak here. I guess uh, Ancestral Mask would be worst case scenario. Or double Ethereal Armor. I guess it's kind of the same thing. I guess double armor is worse. Okay, this I'm fine with. So we're just going to try to go off again next turn. Teach. Teach is actually really nice here. So let's play Ash Barons. Now I need to decide, am I teaching copying Windfall or teaching copying Seething Song? And I think copying Windfall is better because then I get to draw more cards and I still make mana that way. So let's go Seething Song, Seething Song, Teach, Windfall, Discarding island copy it draw four make four treasures there's another teach let's go manamorphos blue red another teach so i have two three seven mana so i think i just go teach into windfall again teach windfall Discarding Wilds, copy it, there's a Rite of Flame, how many do we, how many have we used, one? So Rite of Flame makes three mana, but I can go Teach into Rite of Flame. So if I go Teach into Rite of Flame, then I can just Windfall, I, then I can go, I can go Teach, Rite of Flame, Teach, Windfall. Teach, Rite of Flame, Teach, Windfall, there's more relays, 24 cards in library, 6 mana, let's go Preordain, another Rite of Flame, 
bottom top preordain there's another windfall top top maybe I should have bottomed the, the preordain I'm not sure right of flame windfall 20 cards in library, 5 mana, preordain, there's a curve, no fling yet, only 4 mana remaining, I mean if I just go brainstorm, like what if I just go brainstorm, brainstorm, relay? Then that's Storm 18, and then I have one card left. I just draw it, and then I guaranteed have Curve plus Fling Lethal. I think I just go Brainstorm. Oh, wait, wait, if I Brainstorm, I draw a card. Maybe I just Relay for 17. Because if I Brainstorm, I go down to 18 cards in Library. And then I Relay, then I would mill myself. So I need to just Relay, Pass, then I should have enough for lethal unless they gain a bunch of life alternatively if i just curve here then i just need to still find one of the two flings um using just only brainstorm in hand so what if they go like ancestral mask what if they just go ancestral mask they get plus six, so they gain nine. I think we can beat that, so let's just go Relay. Okay. And F6. Oh, so I could have gone Brainstorm. So we've used all four of our Teaches. So we would have to get enough mana to be able to go Curve Fling, Curve Fling, which I'm not sure we can do if they gain too much life, but our entire deck will be exiled, so should be enough they go they're going up to 28 here if they also have ancestral mask then i think we could lose i guess we could at that point just play a bunch of big snakes or even go snake fling on their pilgrim okay they do have the ancestral mask Let's just do what we can do they're at 36 I'm not sure this snake is going to... If we lose this, then that's hilarious. We have one card in library. So we go right of flame. Do I, I... I don't think I even want to Morphos. Seething Song. So how much mana do I have? I have seven. Let's play Island. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, so that's enough for Curve, Fling, Curve, Fling. So we should be fine. So we just go play Curve. Oh, it's a 38. Oh, we only need one. Okay, I thought it, I thought it was a little bit smaller. I thought our curves were not 38s. I thought they were like 30s because that we had we had a couple spells in hand, but it was still enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn six. Turn turn five. Exile the entire library. Not bad. Okay. I think we just bring in cannonade to hope to like mop up the boggles. It happens a lot where they don't pump the toughness like before turn three, and then you can just start killing boggles with cannonades. I like it. I think we want to keep 
the windfall teach package could just side out like a brainstorm and a couple ponders could side out like one seeding song just have a little more action I like this as funny as it sounds pyroblast is interesting because sometimes they bring in dispel and pyroblast can also counter slippery boggle but let's just go with this if we see like a bunch of dispels then we can consider bringing in the uh the pyro we drew all of our teach by examples early that game which was interesting i mean i'm gonna keep this this is a pretty decent like turn three relay hand another morphos i like that I do like taking these early turns as fast as I can because I take a long time on the big combo turns. This deck is still pretty fun, even if it's not the best deck. All right, they have Slippery Boggle. So let's just go Island Pass, and then we'll Ash Barons for Island, and then we'll plan to Morphos, 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 maybe hit a Ritual, and then just play a big Relay, and then go off after that. Sprawl, name White. Oh, interesting that they play the White Keep. I guess that's good, because they can always make it White Green, or Post Board, they can make it, yeah, White, White Blue or something, plus Forest is all their colors. Double Rancor, this is totally beatable, because... They don't have a way to like gain life or ethereal armor or ancestral mask. I can just beat a 5 1. 5 1 isn't exactly like clocking me here. Island. Okay, it's on tap. So we want to try to draw some cantrips here. Oh, that, that's good too. So let's see. I could just lead on Seething Song. That way I can teach into Morphos. I don't even know if I'm going to want to do that, but I think I still lead Seething Song and then start playing Morphos. Morphos, blue, blue. Another Relay. Let's play another Morphos and then maybe teach into Morphos. Blue, red. Brainstorm. I have five mana right now. So if I teach into Morphos, I draw two and then I still have five mana. Let's do it. Teach. Mana Morphos. Should probably go blue, red, blue, red. Could go blue, blue, and then blue, red. Yeah, blue, blue. Blue, red. Preordain. I could brainstorm first. It's preordained first. There's a seething song. Nice. Bottom, top, seething song. And then relay, relay. Relay for seven, then relay for eight. Not bad. Rite of Flame, Teach, Seething Song, Rite of Flame. Nice. This should be good. Haven't found any other Rite of Flames yet. Okay, there's 11 power. Still think we should be favored from here. I guess they could have... Oh, no, they can't have Dispel because they tapped their blue source. They just want to F6. We draw a Rite of Flame in hand. Nice. So let's go... Just make as much mana as we can, right? I guess we can just curve and then copy T and then curve teach fling here. So let's just set that up. Right of flame, right of flame, seeding song, right of flame. This should be plenty, right? I just want to make sure it's enough. Two lands in graveyard, so that's 12. 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So two spells that are lethal, they have one card in hand. Right of Flame. Let's go Hold Priority. I guess Play Land. Hold Priority, Cast Curve. Turn four, win here. Not too bad. Cast Teach. And then fling, target you. Copy it. Same targets. Close. They got us down to three. GG's. Uh, I, I never like to say GG's first. Always let the opponent say GG's. It just feels so much better for the opponent. Opa Weber. Everyone go subscribe to Weber. He's a really cool guy, really nice guy, great content. Um, so always nice to run into him. Nice. Let's let's go uh, around five here. One thing I will say is while our records for both leagues haven't been that great, yeah, I'll get into how to why it's necessary to do that there. Um, not really in that matchup, but I'm just trying to get in the habit of it. But um, yeah, our record hasn't been that great in the first league with this deck or this one. But in the first league, against Affinity twice, we lost two really close matches. And then um, here we like lost some close ones. Like we lost a close one against Defenders. Like it's almost like a coin flip here. Like could we be 1-3? Sure. Could, could we be 3-1? Sure. So like the deck I think is not too bad. Obviously, variance is going to play a huge role as well, um, and the matchups are going to play a huge role. Um, so, yeah, that, that matters a lot. That was some pretty good draws from Weber. That was pretty fun. But um, so, Gellerium, to answer your question, this is kind of a cool point, just to drive it home for those that don't know. When you play Curve, if you just play Curve, don't hold priority, your Snake comes into play. Great. Now you have a Snake in play. Now if you play Teach by Example because you want to copy Fling and they go like play like a removal spell on Snake, then you can't respond with Fling or anything. Because um, if you do, you won't get to copy it because Teach by Example hasn't resolved yet. So going Hold Priority, Cast Serpentine Curve, before that resolves, play Teach by Example, then it's going to copy your next spell. So then Curve resolves and then when you Fling, there's no opportunity for them to kill your snake before, because you have priority after curve resolves. So that's why you do it that way. Pretty interesting and very relevant against decks like Jund or Mono Black. But we won't make YouTube wait any longer. Let's go round five. All right, welcome to round five. We're against um, Biko, Biso. I uh, have played against him many times. He's a great player, one of the best Blue Black Fae players. Um, really nice opponent. Um, always love playing them here. Uh, would you like to play first? Yes. Pico is not going to make it easy uh, on us here. It's going to be tough. His hand is pretty good, though. Going to preordain. Oh. Top, top. This is pretty sick. Looks like blue, black fade to me. Okay, we knew we were drawing that. Let's go brainstorm. Our hand is so good that I almost like don't know if I want to shuffle away any cards. So I might not. Like I could just play Cliffs this turn. I guess I need to shuffle away one card most likely. Um... Let's see, this is interesting. What can we do next turn? I can go right of flame, right of flame. Then I'm at four mana total. Then I can go mana morpho, stay at four mana, windfall, go to two mana. It's not quite even enough. I probably do want to shuffle away some cards. Maybe I don't even need the windfall here. Just keep the cantrips. 
the Morphos and the, just go for a big relay next turn. Yeah, I think I like that. I can shuffle it like Windfall Brainstorm, and then I can go Terramorphic for Mountain, and then maybe combo next turn, maybe not. I think that sets me up for a nice relay. Not sure, but I, I like it. If they tap out for Augur, then I'm going to go for it. If they just pass with blue, blue up, then I'm not going to go for it. Then I'll probably just play Cliffs Pass. Blue, red, Fae. I don't want to get spell fettered here, so... Now I'll just go Cliffs Pass. I think I'm fine to wait. If they want to, like, flash in Spell Flutter and then Ninja, then their shields will be down. Brainstorm. All right. Can we take out Blue Red Fae? It's not going to be easy. Pico always plays really strong decks. Okay, they're passing. Seeding Song. I almost want to just like bait with this preordain. Like if I just go preordain and they spell center it, which he's gonna do that, right? I should be in good shape. I wonder if he's seen my Twitter. I'm sure he has. He probably knows what what list we're on. And I'm in the tank for a long time. I don't know if I even need this much mana, but. I think I'm fine. I should probably be able to play a huge relay through a spell fetter here no matter what. Okay. Successfully baited. And now I go right up flame. I'm probably going to want to go teach mana morphos because I have plenty of mana with this draw. So let's go right up flame. Right up flame. Seeding Song, Teach, Morphos, Blue, Blue, Nice, Blue, Red, Ponder. So I have not played a land yet, or did I? I have not played a land. This is turn four. So I have five, six, seven mana. Five, six, seven mana. I would like to resolve a curve here because once a curve is resolved against blue red, they can only kill it with scred. So that being the case, if I go draw windfall, play windfall, I go down to one mana floating. So one, two, three, four, five mana left. Then I go Seething Song up to seven mana. Then I go Curve Relay. Okay, nice. That was a really good combo turn here. Through Spell Flutter Sprite. Shuffle your library, no. Oh, I do have to discard a card though. So Seething Song and Curve on top. I have to discard Island to play Windfall. See, I'm always messing stuff up. So if I go the key, the teach copy, teach itself will trigger an extra storm, but not like a, not exactly what you're thinking. I don't think it doesn't like copy the storm trigger twice. It just gives you one more relay, like one more exiled card. Um, five, six, seven mana. So if I go windfall down to three, I go up to five mana. I mean, I can still just go windfall relay and then just not curve this turn. Then I have like 10 spells to play next turn. I don't have a big curve, but that might be enough. Because if I just play curve now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I mean, I, if I windfall curve, then I don't have a big relay backup. Alternatively, I have five, six, seven. If I go windfall, what if I go windfall discarding relay? Then I'm drawing seeding song curve, leave blue floating. If I discard relay, I'm gonna make one big snake. I feel like the relay line is probably better. Alternatively, I could just play relay right now for nine. Of course, I was just one off. What if I had just five, six, seven? If I had just drawn curve here, it would have been so much better. I could have gone play curve, play relay. God damn. Just got greedy because I, I didn't get greedy. I just miscounted again. So I'm definitely not playing optimally. I have to do something. Let's just windfall into relay. Fuck it. Okay, we get to relay for 11. It's a lot of lands there. That may or may not be enough. If I had, again, I sh what I should have done is draw curve that turn, play curve, play, play curve, play relay, and then I would have been in a really good spot. I'm still doing okay, obviously. Okay, there's another relay, that's huge. So let's go play land. Can't really just teach into seething song. Let's just go song. See if they counterspell. Oh, if they just counterspell this, I get wrecked, right? Oh my god, not like this. So let's go Manamorphose. Add blue red. So maybe I should have gone Morphose into Song. But then they could just counter the Manamorphose. Blue red. Cast Ponder. Okay, there's Rite of Flame. So at least I can Rite of Flame into Relay. Worst case scenario here. Didn't really hit much. Yeah, because if I went teach into song, if I went teach into seething song, then I cast Manamorphose, they counterspell that, and then I'm still not in a great spot. There's an unexpected windfall in hand that they could potentially counter. So one of our curves is exiled. They could easily just have counter spell here again, just counter curve, and then we're kind of screwed. Still, just go play brainstorm. See if they spell better it. Then I can resolve curve. I'm gonna go for curve no matter what here because I have to. But this game is definitely my mine to lose. Yeah, this game, this deck is really hard to play, and uh, I'm a self-proclaimed terrible storm player so all that together makes it tough they shouldn't have any outs to this still i mean this is going to be like a 2020 snake 24 and we can play another snake next turn that they need another counter for so
don't know if they're going to be able to beat this. I don't know if I can even really attack quite yet because of Ninja, but again, I don't know if they have any main deck outs. Okay, Monarch is good. They need another counter spell though, because if I resolve another snake, then it's really over. Like what, they're going to chump with the Commodore? Oh, they're ninjing. Okay. But now I can just look for Fling. So, I mean, resolving another curve is probably better, though. Let's just go Ponder, look for Fling. We found it. Okay. So, that's all we need. Yeah, that deck does not play Snap, for sure. Okay. I mean, we drew most of our deck there. The problem is they're going to have Pyroblast and Hydroblast. This is going to be an interesting sideboard. Eleven cards potentially coming in. I think I'm going to do this. Take out this package because it's so bad against Hydro and Dispel and everything. And then, like, I think we're going to board like this or something. Maybe, like, Seeding Song's not as good anymore either. We still can just be like a Cantrip Relay Hydro Blast Pyroblast deck. I mean, I guess teach it. I guess teach is pretty good. I mean, they, they're blue red. They don't have discard. Teach just isn't as powerful with our other spells. I guess teach curve is pretty good. Teach fling is also pretty good. I could keep in like two fleech, <laughs> two fleech, two teach. Not. I wonder if I even need Seething Song at all. What if I just have Right of Flame Morphos? I mean, Seething Song is still a ritual with Relay. What if I board like this? Ponder's also, Ponder Preordain are like the worst cards against Spell Spitter Spray. What if I leave in all the Teaches, side out like even more rituals, but I need some rituals. I think two cannonades is enough in this matchup. It's not like elves. Four hydro is a lot, but maybe four hydro is too much also because they're only going to have really four pyroblast, no other red spells. Maybe a bolt. Still good at countering pyro. Could just have like two. All right, I don't hate this. Go down to two teach, side out all the windfalls. It's a lot of my card advantage, but I just don't think I can really resolve it. They should have only, I, I guess I should have had probably all the Hydro. They have Monarch too. Probably should have had at least three Hydros, but I think this is fine. Sam looks good. Can set up some relays here. Can go they tap out we can resolve a brainstorm shuffle nice all right counter spell that's annoying but we have infinite relays here Whew. let's put back fling fling relay or fling land i think fling land I don't need that many lands with this type of draw. Fling land and then can't cast this obviously. What I could have gone mountain, right, 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 relay, relay, but I think I'm fine to wait. I want to shuffle here. I could have gone off on turn two there a little bit, but again, I think I like waiting. If they counter stuff here, it might just get kind of rough for them, potentially. I could also just wait another turn. 
can like wait one more turn. They're not doing anything yet. Let's see. They could easily have double counter here. Why don't I go? What if I go tap two lands, play teach, and then play right of flame? I guess I can just go right of flame if they counter it. And then I play another, then I go mountain right of flame if they counter that. Next turn, I go teach right of flame, relay, relay. I like it. Right. I'd love to double relay in the same turn. I mean, if they let this resolve, I think they're going to be kind of in trouble. Hydro, okay. So now let's go for another one. Right of flame. Counter spell, okay. Now next turn I go teach right of flame. Then that makes even more mana because I'm countering a bigger right of flame. Or I'm not countering, I'm copying a bigger right of flame. Straw is pretty nuts. Seeding song. Okay, let's go teach. They need double counter out of three cards, which they could have. Be interesting if they counter this. They do. Right of flame. And they counter that too. Wow. Four counter spells. A lot. Cliffs. All right, let's just go Seething Song Relay Divination. Oh, what's up, Weber? GG's. Another Hydro. Wow. They had it all, huh? Five counter spells. Yeah, always fun running into you, Weber. Always a pleasure. I had some pretty good draws there. <laughs> and we're against Biso here. Can someone in chat tell me? You should tell me, Weber. Is it Biso or is it Biko? How am I supposed to pronounce it? I don't want to just write a flame for one. I don't, I don't want to relay for one, but I have to. I'm gonna if nobody knows I'm gonna say Biko. I guess we could have we sh I, I I guess I punted. I wasn't really expecting them to have five counter spells. Because on turn two I could have gone mountain, triple right of flame, double relay. And I was just thinking if they're countering my stuff, unless they have double counter on turn three, it favors me to wait. Because if they're playing counter spells they're adding to the storm count and I should be able to resolve a relay, but then they just had so many counters that uh, I never was able to. Now they're just drawing cards with ninja. All right, let's just wait. I think we're losing this. I know I could hydro nothing. I just don't really want to. I'll just wait till next turn. I'm just gonna say Biko. Island. Should I just go relay into relay now? Man, this game could have gone so differently. They just really stopped us. They're gonna counterspell this. That would be pretty funny. Some of the saddest relays I've seen. There's a cannonade though. We have a hydro back backup. Force spike. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Force spike, one of the copies of relay. <laughs> they have five cards in hand because they've been drawing off ninja. We're down to five. There's no way they have Lightning Bolt in their deck. They have another Ninja, though. So 
So I assume they can protect it. Hydro Blast stops us. Yeah, I don't think I want too many Hydras in this matchup. Most They're going to have like almost all blue spells. Oh, there's a Pyro. Okay, nice. Let's just lead on Cannonade. We can potentially stop Double Counter. Dispel. Pyroblast. Okay. Can't stop that. Blue Red Fae just functioning perfectly there. Five counter spells into Ninja. They're going to counter this. And then calm down, Vico. <laughs> That was insane. I think I punted that game too because I could have gone ritual, 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 relay, relay on two. Um, that was an insane amount of counter spells. I definitely do not want windfall. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. All right. Do we want to change anything else? Do I want like another teach by example? Do I want another a third cannonade in the matchup? I feel like Biko is just such a good player that he's gonna like play around cannonades pretty well, especially because he saw one. This reminds me of like the play at FNM when you're like, well, I think I'm dead, but if the opponent doesn't see the onboard trick, I can go for this particular line. And then you go for it, and then it's like, you know it's, you, or you might have a better line, but you go for the worst line because you don't think the opponent's going to do it. It's kind of the opposite here. I know my opponent's going to play really well, so I can't go for the, the good lines. Double fling is kind of a lot, too. If I resolve, I just need to resolve curve, basically. Should I cut a fling for another teach? Because teach into curve is pretty nice. I think two fling is probably fine. Can potentially protect it. Let's just run it back. We do have four pyros, two hydros dispel, lots of cantrips. All right, let's keep. We have a potential brainstorm shuffle here. Opponent showed four spike. Just go cliffs here. Cliffs pass. Let's see if we can take down Biko. I think they're in the tank if they're gonna keep or not. We have this fling in hand that hopefully we can shuffle away. Worst case scenario, this brainstorm gets either four spiked or pyroblasted, but they would need to have like mountain on one in order to do that. It's unlikely they have it. I mean, their seven must be pretty mediocre if they're in the tank this long. Thought I was going to throw away game one, but we were able to get there. Pico says test. Am I disconnected? I think I'm here. Chat, you there? No, I'm, I'm good. My internet seems to be working. Weird. Pico says test. I think he, I think he might be having some connection issues here.
let's pause for for YouTube. All right, looks like Biko is ready to go. Let's go Cliffs Pass. Looks like they're having he's having a little bit of internet issues. Hopefully it's not too bad. So I guess they could dispel the brainstorm. Okay, now I'm just gonna brainstorm main phase shuffle. I get want to get this fling out of my hand. Maybe this curve out of my hand too. Don't want these pay off this early. All right, so I think I put back curve fling, and then I play terramorphic shuffle right now, and then start playing spells. Sure. Let's just get island. I want lots of blue sources here. Potentially, I could go. Oh, I think I think Biko just misclicked. Maybe they didn't have a. Maybe he didn't have a land. I'm not sure. But that's brutal. I think I'm just gonna go teach into ponder here. I guess they could hi they could uh, hydro or pyro this. Wonder if he just misclicked or not. I guess we might find out. Discard auger boss. Four spike to ponder. Okay. Island, Curve, Teach. I think these are definitely good enough because next turn I can just go like Land, Teach, Morphos, Morphos, Curve, and then next turn play another Curve, follow it up with a Fling, and just go for like the mid-range game with a bunch of big snakes against a Mana Screwed opponent. Maybe he misclicked, but either way, I'm going to go for it. So, Curve, Teach, Island, No. He just slams like I think he just misclicked the way it was so fast there. I could be wrong. Well, you get a cop teach by example resolved. So um it cop the trigger goes on the stack when you cast ponder. You can't counter that trigger. If they countered teach, then I wouldn't get the copy, but they didn't counter teach. Yeah, Teach just says the next spell. Okay, let's go Teach into Morphos. Just stick to the plan. I mean, he probably has counter spell, but hopefully he counters this. Okay, I'm fine with this. I could go Morphos, Morphos right now. We know we're drawing curve. I think I can just wait. There's almost no chance I, ca I can cast Curve this turn. I think I'm just going to wait, because I could draw like Galvanic Relay in the future. Okay, Brainstorm. Fjord. One man up. It could be Hydro Blast. I wonder if I'm supposed to just play Curve. They already played four spike. It's only like a five five curve. Let's just mana morphos. If they want to hydro this, then sure. Morphos, morphos. I guess I add red, red. Let's go right of flame, curve, and then I can have hydro up. And play around a second four spike. All right, we have an eight eight. Should be good in this matchup. We also have a hydroblast. They do have pyroblast to kill this, but we have one counter here. Can tap out for another snake next turn. Okay. They need another pyro though. I don't think there's a reason to go right of flame. Makes the snake one bigger, but I don't think that's worth. Especially since it's 10, yeah. I thought it was 10. I didn't double check, but I have another hydro or pyro. Damn. Right, let's go Morphos. Red, red. Jeez. All right. Well, pretty rough uh, games two and three when they have. Four Pyro, four Hydro. Draw second flame. Brutal. I thought we were going to be good here, but 
They had the uh, Pyros plus the spells that are kind of Sprite counter back up. Now if they just find Ninja, we lose. Yeah, felt like they didn't have it there. Okay. Drawing both flings is pretty terrible. Again, could have sided one out. I don't know if that's right, though. Ah, uh, brutal. I think I'm getting Island here, actually. Could have also not shuffled in case we draw Ponder, but, I mean, we're probably not even going to resolve that. Jeez. Fetch lane, fetch lane, fetch lane. Last three draw steps. Not ideal. I want to play out all my lands, too. All right, we get hit to seven. Ah. Just top deck four lands in a row. Not going to do it. I think we lose now. Like, they definitely have something. They have six cards in hand. They miss their turn, and it just doesn't really matter. All right, maybe we go off next turn if we don't die. We have a lone Pyroblast to try to save us. We have to try to counter this. They're going to have counter back up. GG's Biko. Great games. Drew four lands in a row there. I think that deck was fun. I think I'm not um I think I'm not a storm player. And uh I think the deck is just like mediocre. I think it's just not quite there. It's just like a little bit too slow, too many lands. Um this is kind of what I wanted to go into, so let's go into it now. I wanted to brew real quick and it was kind of like based on like a Chatterstorm build like this. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it yet, but um let's go to the cards I was like thinking that we for sure will play. I think four sign and blood is was gonna be the the play here. This is an older Chatterstorm list. So what if we we don't really need this many spheres? Might have to change change up the lands. Not gonna play the crevasse, but let's go serpentine curve. Let's go like four curve, two fling as win cons. I guess what the problem with this build too is we don't even have teach by example. We have better enablers though. This is only 58. I also liked, here, let's go, let's see. What is this, what is this cycle? What is, what set is this? Geothermal crevasse? Let's see, invasion. I wanna just search by all the invasion lands, set. There's no way I'm going to be able to find it. Let's go Geo, Thermal, Invasion. I should have the other ones. Yeah. So I need the ones. I think I need Sulfur Vents. Yeah. This is the one I want. Oh, it's already in the deck. It was sitting right in front of me. So we might want four Sulfur Vents, zero Geothermals. I think I like four needles. Gotta get the good swamps in there. This looks like, this looks interesting to me. I don't know if it's gonna work out. This is 59 cards, 14 lands. Don't think we're going Simon and Blood Win Con. Could have like one Teach by Example. 
could have another, just the fourth curve. We could also try to fit in, um, we can try to play Deadly Dispute, but that gets a little bit awkward with curve because then we need like more artifacts. We already have four star here, which isn't bad. Oh, this is also four first day of class, which we definitely don't need. That's, that's what's messing me up. I knew I should have started the build from scratch. Definitely don't want first day of class. Basically just trying to basically just trying to break relay if we can. Couple teach. Um seems nice. Oh, it's because we have 20 still. Just to go teach fling. That seems a little bit loose. I, I don't know if this is going to be enough because we really have to draw like the entire deck. I just don't think it's quite there. This is also 58 cards, but... I also really like the uh, draw power of Deadly Dispute plus Icker Wellspring in the main deck. Especially if you're playing already Chromatic Star, but that's kind of awkward with Curve as well, just adding more non-instant sorceries to your deck. It's not really where you want to be. I think uh, it's about time to put down these Storm Brews. Um, they've been fun. It's been fun casting some unexpected windfalls, but uh, I don't think that's going to quite get there. That'll wrap it up for this uh, YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.